Today we will discuss about how to do a cumulative sum or running total in Power BI. So this is a sample visualization or sample report we are trying to achieve. We have a line and cluster column chart over here. For our x-axis, we have our month from January to December. And for our, our y-axis, we have the number of well. So for the cluster column, we have our number of well we plan to drill and actual well that we have already drilled. Similarly, for our line chart, we have the cumulative plan of well we want to drill and the actual well we drill. So for our February, we want to accumulate, we want to have a running total from January to February. Similarly, for March, we want to have the total number of plan and actual from January, February up to March. So how are we going to do collect the data or do a DEX measurement for this cumulative sum. So let's just look at what the data structure look like in our source. So this is our table one. So this is how our data source would be needed to do the visualization. So we will start with a new page in our report and try to achieve this type of data structure before we go through how to pull the information in Power BI. So let's open our data source. So this is the typical information we have it. We have our reporting month. We have our data type, which is a plan and our actual. And then we have our information from January to December, the number of wells. So first we need to unpivot from January to December into a two column. So we will select from here to here. We unpivot only the selected columns. So from here, in order, this will be our X axis, but in order for it to arrange from January to December, we will make it a date. We will set this at a date format. So how are we going to do it? We will do it in the new column. We will add new column, custom column. We will call it month. So since this attribute, this information over here is this is text, so we will com later convert it into date format. So we will combine it first. So we will have our attribute, which is our month, and then just combine it. And then I will just combine it. Next, and then just get the year for our reporting. So now I have our data over here. So we will change the data type into date. So now this is in date date format. So these are the minor uh, transformation we need to have in our data source. So we will just apply and close. We'll do it in a new page. So First, we will have our slicer, we will have our reporting. Reporting month for the year, so we will change our format. Okay, should be sufficient. We will select March 2021. Our reporting will drag a line and cluster column chart. So for our x axis, we will have our month that we created. So for our values, we'll click in values. This is this will be the number of valves type our plan versus actual. 
So as you can see from the axis, if it is a gate, Power BI will intelligently uh, format it in this type of form, but we might not like it. So how do we going to change it? So we will go to the X axis, we will change it to categorical. So we have this type of form. So we do not, we only want the month, so we will format the month. So we will click in model view, month, date. Um, we just need the month over there. So there, we have the month over here. So now we will do the cumulative part. First, we would like to have uh, how do we do the cumulative by summing up the values. For example, uh, actually, we would like to sum it up and plan value, we would like to sum it up. First, we need we can do a simple measurement. We will call it total bell. So it goes to the sum of our values over here. So once we have this measurement, we will do the cumulative by clicking the three dot over here. New quick measure. We will look for totals, running totals. Our base value will be our total well that we created. So our field value, what is our field value? We would like to do a cumulative base based on the month. So January, February, March, accumulate uh, in this direction. So we'll put in the month as our field. Then click OK. So now we the Power BI already generate a measurement for us. So we will call it cumulative uh, actual. So as you can see, it is uh, cumulative for the total value. So if we want just the actual, we can do a second filtering. For example, we can modify further, so we will add another filter, so we will filter our well drill type, we just take in our actual. So now we have our cumulative actual. Once we have this, we can just drag and drop it in the line values, so we have this line. So as you can see that the cluster column chart is pushed down. So how to how to brought, bring out the secondary axis, go to y axis. We can scroll down. Show secondary. So okay, that's better. And if you want to show the data label, we can as such. So the next thing we might need to have a cumulative plan, we can also do it. So we just need to copy paste the same measurement this time round. Since we already created, so we will modify the measurement. We get the plan value for our cumulative plan. So now we just need to drag our plan over here. So now we have our plan actual value for our cumulative. So that's all. Thank you.